Hello class, uh, Mr. Ng here, and in this video I want to show you how to make a histogram. Here I have the data from uh, Nicole's team, and I think I'm going to make um, some histograms based off the internode lengths between the scrub oak and the coast live oak. And then what we're going to do after we make our histograms is we're going to go through a, um, an, an analysis tool called the ANOVA test. The ANOVA test will measure the difference in their means. And if it doesn't pass, meaning if it's not above a 0.05, that means the means are pretty similar and we're basically dealing with a similar plant. Um, or maybe the means are going to be very different. So I'm um, here. Um, she has uh, her data internoder. I'm assuming that means internode. And I'm assuming these are the scrub oak internodes and these are the coast live oak internodes. Um, just to clean things up, I'm going to put it onto a different page. Uh, let me rename this one. And this is where I'm going to make my histogram. Right, and um, I'm just going to do the internodes. So I'm going to grab this data here. I'm going to pull it all down and copy it. And I'm going to just put it here and let's just paste it. And I know this was the scrub oak internodes. All right, so I'm probably going to just rename this internode histogram. And then here I'm going to grab the other one. This is the Coast Live Oak internodes. Um, be careful if you don't have a lot of data. If um, It looks like she has um, less than 25 data sets. Um, I'm still going to go with the tutorial, but uh, it's much better if you have um, at least 30 uh, pieces of data. That's just a central limit theorem, meaning you don't really get a good normal curve unless you break 30. Um, and let's call this Coast Live Oak data sets. Um, but I will be forgiving because, heck, you know, this, we're just learning how to do stuff here. Uh, the first thing we should do is we should kind of uh, work through our data here. Um, the easiest way to do it is just to sort, right? So you kind of highlight the whole thing and then you can sort. So you just go to data, go to sort, look here. Uh, there's like A through Z, meaning um, it's going to be go from smallest to largest, which is what I want. I'm just going to click on this. So the smallest internode was 0.4 centimeters. The largest internode was 4. Fine. A lot of, maybe this group did a little too much rounding, it looks like. Huh? Uh, and then here I'm going to do the same thing. All right, I'm going to sort. Okay, pretty good. All right, and then it looks like the range goes from 0.1 to 7.25 and I think these uh, point ones are going to be outliers this is just when they're kind of close together so um, it looks like they don't have a ton of data right they just didn't go through a lot of internodes okay so um, next thing we got to do is we got to make our histogram to make the histogram you need to first develop what are called bins right. bins um, the, the so imagine the range of our data, which goes from like 0.4 all the way up to around 7. And what you want is you want to take that and you want to divide that by like 10 to 20. So I'm just going to go by 0.5. If I go by 0.5, I'll have around like 15, 14 uh, little bins. So I'm just going to go 0, 0.5, 1. 1.5 and so on right and then if I highlight these and I'm gonna grab this little corner look a uh, big white cross lousy oh a little black cross that's way better I'm gonna pull it down with a little black cross pull this all the way down all the way down to 7.5 because I know that's the largest of the range so this is this these bins represents the range of the data here right from 0 all the way to 7.5 because the smallest internode I have is 0.1 which I'm probably going to omit later on to 7.25 fine part 2 uh, let's start making histograms to do this let's go to data analysis and then we want the histogram right um, 
you might not be able to see this window because of the way I'm recording this video but just click on data analysis pick the tool that says histogram it's gonna go okay and then you want the input range to be uh, all of your data for the scrub oaks right and then the bin range is going to be the bins that we've established here right these bins when you press OK I'm gonna do the output range to be right here. I'm gonna make the output range right here right okay alright so now this stuff showed up right meaning these frequencies uh, represent um, how many of the scrub oak internodes are between uh, 0 and 0 0.5 or 0 all the way up to 0 0.5 see 1 2 3 these 3 are go right here 0.05 or below and these 12 represent all the ones that are 1 to 0.5 right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 right so basically it's a count of how many of those internodes are in these uh, lengths. So I'm just going to copy this here data. Copy. I'm going to put it here. All right. This is the data for the scrub oak. And I just did these counts for me. I'm just going to clean this up. Get out of here. Delete this. And let's do another count, but this time for the coast live oak. And um, do the same procedure, go to data analysis, go to histogram, click OK. And this time the input range we're going to change and we're going to highlight the data for the coast live oak instead. Not a lot of data this time. And then the output range I'm going to change that too just so that I don't overlap my data. And I'm just going to put it right here. OK, great. So a new set of data occurred. This is, these are the counts for the coast live oak i'm gonna copy this paste it right here boom okay and then let's get rid of these guys let's do you guys good so uh now i just want to make a chart out of this data set between the bins and the scrub oak and the coast live oak i want to highlight this whole bit i'm going to go and format this i'm going to go to home I'm going to format it as a table. It solves a lot of problems for me later on. There you go. Now I have a nice table with bins of the scrub oak uh, internodes and the coast live oak internodes. I should probably say that, right? These are internode lengths, coast live oak internode lengths. Fine. Okay. Now we just need to graph it. So to graph it, to make there our actual histogram, I'm going to highlight my entire data set. I'm going to go to insert. I want to insert a column chart. Yes. Uh, this chart here. Very good. And right now the chart looks all wonky because of this blue data set, which is just of our bin. Let's get rid of it. So I'm going to highlight that and just delete. Next, I need to um, I need to change these this x-axis here, right? I gotta change this x-axis. To do that, I am going to right-click, select data, and then where it says horizontal category, I'm gonna edit that and insert my bins. There you go. Now my chart looks a lot better. My chart. So I have really clumped up internodes for the scrub oak and then much more diverse internodes for the coast live oak um, good so um, the question is do they have similar means right do they have similar internodes um, we don't really know we got to go through a statistical test and this the statistical test that we're gonna go through is a test called the ANOVA to do the ANOVA, I'm going to do another sheet, and I'm going to call this one. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it Internode ANOVA. All right. And this time, I'm going to take all this data. Copy. Put it right here. 
Alright, let's make it bigger for you guys so you can see. I want this to be one clump, one clump like that. Alright, that's how Excel likes it. I'm going to go to data analysis, so I'm going to go to data, data analysis. Um, this is a single factor ANOVA, all right, only one factor, right, just the length of the internodes, all right, I'm going to click OK. All it needs is an input range, and it's grouped by a uh, column, so I'm just going to highlight both columns all the way down. And then um, output range, oh, let's just do a new worksheet, that's much easier. Boom. Done. Okay, so now we have a bunch of numbers and you're wondering what's going on. So column one was our scrub oak data, right? Scrub oak internodes. Right. Uh, column two was the coast live oak internodes. Right. The counts just means how many data sets there were, only 24. All right, this is the total sum, here is the average, and here is the typical variance. Like how different were these numbers? Uh, the one number that we really care about is this here p-value, right? Um, this is really the only number that really matters to us, this here p-value. And look, the p-value is way, way less than 0.05. What this means is those two data sets are distinctly different. This p-value was greater than 0.05. Like sometimes you'll get a huge number like 0.90 or 0.80. Then the two data sets are basically the same data sets. Right? The ANOVA is a test about uh, the difference in means. Do they have different means? And here, unequivocally, we can say that they have very different means. And um, you could put in this here chart that says, wow, well, look at that crazy difference in means. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching. I hope that helps you with your lab write-up.